Maxime, it must have been tough yesterday getting good sleep. This is exactly what the doctor ordered, though, coming back today. Well, I mean, I slept, uh, you know, uh, I'm not influenced too much, you know, by uh, losses. I know that I need to sleep well, so. Um, but of course, yesterday was a very tough game. I mean, Linear played extremely well. I made a mistake, you know, from my, uh, not remembering my files and... Um, was Queenie 8 in your files? I mean, like, uh, <laughs> you're insulting my coach by asking this question. <laughs> <laughs> just had to, you know, yeah, just, just checking, know. just checking. No insult intended. Mm. <laughs> um, but anyway, today was also very tough in the beginning because uh, Darius was uh, blitzing moves uh, one after another. Um, but I had this feeling that I had looked at all of this and, you know, I couldn't remember his moves. So like this Queen H4, for instance, came as a surprise. But uh, at least I could sort of remember my moves and uh, find over the board that, you know, everything I, I was doing was sensible, um, especially this knight d2, knight c4, I think, switched the uh, momentum of, of the game because suddenly the position gets easier to play for me and, you know, for, for a while it was not the case. Knight d2, let's bring that on the board. We said today is the knight's tour because Jeffrey's knight... I've seen that. You saw that as well, flew around the board. Your knight... Uh, was on, started the game on B1. Looks for a moment like it was maybe headed back to B1 when you're playing Knight D2, of course. And it got to the C4 square. You just comfortably soccer, you gave away your light square bishop back, gave back your light square bishop, I should say, and also sacrificed the pawn. What, tell us why you assess this so easily as it would be good for you. Um, well, I knew it wouldn't be bad <laughs> for starters. And, you know, the bishop on B6 suddenly likes squares, like like Sius, the pawn on f4 turns out to be a weakness in the end, and uh, I got get great control over not only the e-file, uh, over the diagonal with the bishop, inevitably. So that's why I thought uh, Darius should have played d-takes c3 uh, when he had the chance with the bishop on c1. This, I was almost certain. Let's go back to that position uh, you're saying. Uh, yeah, or d8. Here. I mean, uh, or d3. d3 was also... Um, I was also looking at it quite seriously. Just uh, oh, both with the ideas to hinder my bishop, because once I get this bishop on d2 and I do threaten to take on d4, it suddenly gets very tough. Uh, Maxine, if I may, he played a kind of a counterintuitive move here, c7 takes b6. What was your intentions uh, against Yeah, once he takes d4. c takes d4, c5. Yeah, and no queen takes a 4 Ah, that's simple. Queen takes f4. Okay. Because now the pawn on c... I mean, there has to be a reason for c takes b6. Right. Um, it, it was uh, just an extraordinary thing right here at this exact moment. I'm sure queen f4 is advantage for you. The computer has suggested the move a4, and we just <laughs> give away our grandmaster title. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're laughing, too. Thank goodness you're laughing, too. Yeah. 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 These kind of moves that don't come to our minds. This, this, is, this is the computer. Nothing to say, huh? Uh, yeah, Beautiful, yeah. right. I mean, I, if you had looked at this, we were going to ask the security to wand you <laughs> once again. But uh, you, you, A4 is either a very bad player's move or a two grades. Yeah, exactly. One <laughs> yeah. of the two. But now things were definitely going your way. Here you've taken the pawn on a7, which yeah, was an could, excellent move. I could take on g7, but uh, then knight takes c3. Yes. And if rook g4, then my rook is kind of stuck on g4, like queen f6 would always threaten h5, so uh, I should take with the pawn on c3, right. king g7, pawn takes d4, pawn takes d4. And of course I'm better, but I thought, uh, you know, it's much more difficult for Darius to play with uh, both my rooks coming to the seventh rank and so on. You so made on, the yeah. right decision, no question about it. Yeah, and I thought he should play something like rook d6, rook e1, h6, and get his rook to g6, but it is ugly. Right, R something like this, what you're just, that uh, this was, in your view, the way he had to struggle. Oh, queen f6, but I mean something like Right. That. Right, um, but but of course it is pretty bad. But in the game, um, well, 
it's a bit unlucky, of course, that this uh, endgame is totally lost after, I mean, after you follow this recontext of four, because it could happen that you get back uh, this B5 pawn, but you, you don't because of the back rank mate, so. Right. So a big comeback nice. for you. You're back in first place. Up oh, and down, uh, down and up. I mean, I don't count comebacks when it is uh, one four two one five. So I will count a comeback if I, I'm in first place after, after one nine. Okay. Well, I was mm -hmm. going to try to project a little bit. You get a rest day uh, to play. Yeah, that will be nice. Uh, lots of things to do. Um, maybe some tennis also and some west, you know, talking with my coach, uh, having fun uh, with my with my friends uh, online, uh, like uh, that I haven't seen for too long because I've not been to France for for so long. But uh, yeah, hanging out and uh, preparing mentally to be very focused for the second half. All right, we'll let you get to that preparation. Great, great comeback game, mm -hmm. but we know you have more in you. Congratulations. Thank you.